<laughs> Next up at UFC 298, we have Marcos Rogerio de Lima taking on Justin Puffy Taffa. Marcos Rogerio de Lima, 21 and 9 overall, 3 and 2 in his last five. He is coming off that wild flying knee knockout loss to Derek Lewis. Taking on Justin Taffa, 7 and 3 overall, 3 1 and 1 in his last five, coming off that knockout win over Austin Lane. This could be an interesting fight. We got Marcos Rogerio Lima. This guy's a little older, but he's a big, powerful heavyweight. He has got decent striking, decent grappling, decent wrestling. Not the fastest guy in the division, not the most athletic guy in the division, but he can land heavy, he can get takedowns, and he can work BJJ. He's sort of a grinder, right? He's going to come forward, work you against the cage, try to drag you to the ground with muscle, slow the pace down because, again, he's not very fast. He is coming off the fast knockout loss, though, to Derek Lewis, where Derek just ran across that cage and flew in the air with a knee. He's taking on Justin Taff. This guy's a heavyweight striker. Taffa, man. You got to stop. It drives me insane. Big Bauer and a fantastic... That drives you insane? You're yeah, I don't know here, why, but yeah. Looks I, like a Mormon in a South Park with your stupid hat and your dumbass skits, and I drive you nuts because I say Taffa. Fucking tomorrow, idiot. Dude, tomorrow's the day of love, man. It's yeah, cool. Well, it's really? not today, is it? Hey, throw it up. Throw it up. Throw it up. Throw Justin. It up. Come on. Taffa. Oh, oh, it does it on the screen. <laughs> oh, that's oh, cool. oh, damn it. Why didn't I know this sooner? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Maybe we can edit it in. Hold on. Let's edit it in. I'm not editing anything. anything. Yo, I'll, edit it. This, I'll edit this in post. I'll edit it in post. So here you <laughs> go. I'll, I'll edit this post, okay? So here's your flowers, Amanda. I hope you have a happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Justin Taffa <laughs> is a heavyweight striker with big power and a fantastic chin. When he gets his kicks going, he's got good kicks as well. Zero takedowns in the UFC offensively. He has also given up zero takedowns in the UFC. If you take your time, you pot shot him, you could have some success. That's what Jared Vandera did. But if you can't, and you can't avoid that power, you're going to have some big problems. Marcos Rogerio is the favorite here, should be the favorite. He is the more well-rounded fighter. He's the more skilled fighter of the two. But if he can't get Justin to the ground, I don't think he's going to pot shot his way around. Jared Vandera is actually pretty fast for a heavyweight, and he's got some good footwork. That's how he was able Whoa. to stay on the outside. Do you say that just because people said that you look like Vandera? <laughs> is that the only reason you're saying that? No, he's actually Vandera pretty... is actually a, one of the, a top <laughs> heavyweight. <laughs> I mean, so, so handsome, for sure. The Ben Affleck of the heavyweight. I can't division. believe people said I look like Malarkey. Well, you even said while you were editing that video, you're like, damn, I fight like Malarkey, too. <laughs> anyway. I, I would never. Point being... For Marcos Rogerio de Lima to win this fight, he's going to need to close that distance immediately and drag Justin to the ground or stay all the way in the outside and just jab and move, jab and move. In all likelihood, he's going to close the distance, try to drag Justin down. Justin has legs like this. I don't think he is easily taken. Actually, I know he's not easily taken down. I don't think he'll be taken down in this fight. I'm going to pick Justin to win. I think Justin wins this fight. With that being said... I'm not going to bet on Justin. Plus 120 is not worth the money because he is fighting somebody that's a much better fighter, and I'm not a big fan of betting for a knockout. Because then you can bet Justin by knockout, but you're not going to get much better odds on that because that's the it's only like, way he wins. I think it's plus 125. Yeah. It literally it, is like not worth it yeah, at all. It's the only way that he's going to win. I do think the bet that makes sense, which is minus 110, I believe, is Justin inside the distance decision, no action. I have not pulled the trigger yet because I do worry if he gets taken down, what does he do? But we've never seen him taken down, so I just don't know. But I am going to pick Justin here. I think I think that knockout was really bad. I think Marcos is going to be afraid to strike for a prolonged period of time, which means he's going to come in, try to get close, try to get it to the cage, and he's going to eat some big shots while doing that. Justin Taff is the pick. If I do end up placing a bet, it will be the inside the distance decision. No action. Keep an eye out for that. If you're a premium member, make sure your Discord is linked. If you're not, become one. It's freaking $10 a month. We on picks.com. What do you think? Jakey Bombalotes. 
Um, yeah, I mean, he's got to, he, I mean, he's got to get, he's got to get the takedown, right? Because if he doesn't get the takedown eventually, cause they are heavyweights, they will crash in. They will get in these wild exchanges right up against the fence. I mean, I'm sure Tafa will be back against the fence. Marcos will be da, 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 heavy leg kick and then crash in. And that'll eventually happen. The issue is, and if you ask the Tafas, they know, right? Everyone just wants to take them down. So if you listen to them when the way that they train, it's like basically all they train is takedown defense because they already got the striking. They've already got the heavy hands. They know what they're doing. So it sounds like all they do is work on takedown defense. They've already shown pretty good takedown defense, him and his brother. Um, and Marcos de Lima, I don't really love his takedowns. So if I'm looking at this as Marcos de Lima can't really get the takedowns, eventually they're going to crash in. I think I trust Justin's speed and power. I think he can beat him to the punch in those positions. And that's kind of as simple as that is. I mean, heavyweights are pretty much, you come at you at face value, right? You can't really get too in depth with heavyweights. I think Justin Toff is the, the faster striker. Obviously, he can put anybody's lights out. And I think if they get in those exchanges, he will be faster to the shot than, uh, than Marcos. And I believe he can do that. So I'm actually, it's weird to say, but I'm actually kind of high on Justin Toffa to get this done. But, you know, they're heavyweights, so. Yeah, they're heavyweights, and one of them's 38. And and normally that's alarming, but heavyweights can last a little longer. They can their careers can go a little farther out. We do are, have this comment are here. You saying that says, you could start? You think about starting yours? I could. Yeah, I could be the Randy Couture. Uh, Shojo said Justin isn't Derek Lewis. I agree. He's a better striker than Derek. Derek Lewis is not a skilled technical striker. He's the most powerful striker the UFC has ever seen. But he's not a skilled technical striker. Justin Taffa is a skilled technical striker. So, yeah. Does he have that exact same power as Derek Lewis? No. Nobody does. Not even Czech Congo. Not even Francis Ngannou. Not, I, not even Alistair Overeem. But he's a better striker than Derek Lewis is. Is he going to fly knee? No, of course not. But I think he'll blast the stomach. I think he'll blast the head. And I think he'll have some sess here. So blast does Jakey Boy. I don't feed that. <laughs> $7,700 in DraftKings. You going to spend that money on JT? Uh, I think so. Ooh, JT. Ooh. Ooh, a little. Yeah. Ooh, is this a sign? Go. Is this a sign? He is a dog, isn't he? The lock ooh. of the week. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Uh, don't be weird. Okay. No, it's, it's, I turned into a dog on V-Day. <laughs> there Hands you go. Knees. Um... <laughs> Grand Nation's got it all figured out. Uh, I guess you'll find it? out. Before you go, let me give you $50. Anybody who goes to wewantpicks.com slash bets and signs up with any one of our affiliate partners gets $50 as a thank you. Use the link, sign up, make a deposit. We send you 50 bucks as a thank you.